Hey there, this is Justin Stone Diaz, and um, this is a special um, video blog entry going out to all the folks in Occupy sites outside of New York City, especially those in cities currently facing conflict. Um, so let me begin the post by saying my name is Justin Stone Diaz and I am a member of the NYC um, Occupy Wall Street community. Um, I'm a part-time occupier at this point. Um, so I spend between eight and 10 hours a day down at the space working as an information coordinator and just um, helping out where I can. So I want to preface this by um, sending out my prayers and my thoughts and um, just good energy to the people um, getting tear gassed and arrested and facing the sharp end of the stick right now. Um, now that I've said that and you've heard that, I hope, I just need people to understand that um, Occupy Wall Street in New York needs to remind you that um, there's something everyone's missing and a lot of us here in New York City are not understanding it always um, and I recently was given great clarification on this matter um, Occupy Wall Street um, people don't realize that there's a period at the end of that statement Occupy Wall Street now I've been having a lot of issues um, processing the occupations in the other cities for on an intellectual level and from understanding what our model is actually doing I understood these um, fiery conflicts with police officers would occur um, and I understand that the people in the other cities are going through a lot of pain and suffering right now but I need to remind you that um, we in New York started this off. I'm not saying we're leadership in any way, but we found it um, very beneficial to look at direct action, which means like protesting and hollering and creating drama with police. Um, that's part of what Occupy Wall Street is, but in us taking over the space in New York City in the way that we did, that we chose a park that there's a uh, at least a standoff with the police and that if the police are going to make an action against us um, it won't be something where they're trying to evict us it may be small direct actions but to the people in the other cities and to supporters of all the occupations um, we at Occupy Wall Street in New York need to remind you that Occupy Wall Street has a period at the end of it we're very grateful and inspired that we could help people create the space in their own imagination to start occupying other cities um, and that the occupation model is working well for a lot of people. But you need to understand that you need to take a look at what we're doing here in New York and that we've understood that the direct, um, the direct action has to have a strong foundation. Um, if you notice that all of the things that go on in New York City and where you hear the arrests go on, none of those arrests actually happen at Zuccotti Park, actually in the park that we're occupying. Um, there are lots of ways we're doing direct action and people are able to get arrested and have their big dramatic media standoff with the police. Um, but by us occupying space in New York City and doing it in a manner that's semi-legal, we have not faced any of the issues that you're now facing. We've known from the beginning that once we saw you inspired by our actions and that you were doing things in the way that you were doing them, that you at one point would come head on into conflict with the police, which you are right now. Um, we knew this would occur and we understood that when you have this happen, you might need some help. And the help we offer here in New York is our model. 
please look to how we occupied Wall Street. In how we did things, there's a secret side of the model that most people aren't aware of. If your occupation um, isn't in a secure site that you can actually have open 24 hours as a resource to people that want to have voice to their dissent, then you're missing half the picture. Um, Occupy Wall Street is three words and it has a period at the end. Um, if you look at that and you look at the people who have inspired you to start occupying Oakland, occupying London, occupying Atlanta, Charleston, all these 85 different cities at last count that um, have been inspired by Occupy Wall Street in New York, I beg you to start noticing the period at the end of that sentence. Occupy Wall Street, period. And then also look to the experiences of those here in New York City who you have been so inspired by. We have more to teach you. You have our motto and you have our brand now. You can go occupy whatever you want now. There's even an unoccupied Tibet to protest the Chinese occupation of Tibet. Um, but we beg you in New York to take a look at Occupy Wall Street as three words with a period at the end and we hope that now that you've learned that direct action only does things in a certain way, you'll look to us to see how we have a sustainable community now open 24 hours a day. If your occupation has been broken up or dissolved in any manner, we in New York City expected this. Please come to New York as soon as possible. Um, we have a great community, we'll feed you, we'll show you how we're doing things, and show you a gentler model. The Occupy Wall Street a movement that's going on, it's um, facing its first large challenge. And I hope that those inspired by our actions in New York City will now look to what's occurring here in New York. Because right now at 1.16 in the morning, I'm watching a live tweet stream and a couple of live streams of the People's Mic going on. And I can see a couple of police officers in the background and they're smiling. Um, Occupy Wall Street is three words and direct action is only half the model. So maybe you'll start looking to us to seeing what our experience may have to benefit you. Um, hang in there. We're with you. Um, I'm sorry if some of my tweets are a little bit snarky. I'm just really worried that you guys won't realize that there's another layer to this. And Occupy Wall Street in New York City now announces that we will be open through 2012. So if your occupation has been broken down, contact me or just come to Liberty Plaza. All are welcome, especially occupiers from cities who have lost the battle with their police or community or whoever you're trying to occupy. Come visit and remind yourself, Occupy Wall Street, period. Come join our movement and that movement is to Wall Street in New York City. Come, please. Tear gas isn't fun.